me at the laundromat and it's Sunday by the way. This lady is gagging next to me. Like, listen. Okay, I think she stopped. But she was coughing so hard. I'm like she wanted to cough her tonsils up or something. You hear it? Oh my god. Put my mask on because I ain't got time for the mess. Alright, I'm going to go in here and wash a load of clothes. I have a couple loads of clothes I need to wash so I can be prepared for my work week next week. <clears throat> um, I didn't do much this morning. I mean, it's still only like 10.24. Um, barely 10.30, so... When I got up this morning, I literally um, ate some breakfast and I did a couple of online purchases that I needed. I've been looking for some black slacks, no, sorry, black flats for a while um, and <clears throat> some that were comfortable. And so I found some online and so I went ahead and ordered them. I ordered two pairs. And then also, I had a reward from Torrid, and so I went ahead and ordered these high-rise shorts, which I think will be good for vacation next year when I go on the cruise, if I don't get a chance to wear them this year, depending. Um, but yeah, I am just going to go into the laundromat, put some clothes in the wash, and then come back. I have my planner and everything with me and my dream goal journal with me. And I'm going to be doing a little bit of work and getting my life together. So, that's what I'm doing. I did pull my purse up so that I can get my coins. And you may be wondering, girl, why are you going to the wash house? Don't you got wash and dryer in your home? I don't have any in my unit, but we do have some on site. But they're always broke. Like... They're always broke. I don't know what the deal with that is, but they need to get their life together and get that fixed because I could be washing a load and getting things done in the house at the same time. But it's always broke, so I don't even... I just grab my clothes and come out to the wash house because ain't nobody got time for all that. Anyways, let's go in here. Let's do what we got to do. Put these loads, clothes in the wash and come back to the car.
clothes are in the wash. We have 40 minutes on the timer, which gives me 40 minutes to get some work done before I have to come back in and put them in the dryer. So, I feel like it was more people in there right now. Today's a Sunday. It's usually not that many people in there on a Sunday, but I usually come earlier than 10 o'clock or 10.30. So, but that's okay. We found a washer because they were all taken for the most part. And oh, what are they doing over there? Oh, put some hand sanitizer on. Okay, let's do this. And we'll take this off for the time being. I have my water with me. Um, and then I also, I had a water cup at home, so I made me my own coffee so that I wouldn't stop and get anything because I don't need to spend no more money. Like, mm -mm. <clears throat> no more money in case I, I did eat breakfast, but in case I need a little snack, I brought me one of my little mini cakes and I'll just eat that, um, until I get home because I have plenty of food at home plenty more than enough i can share with my neighbor if i wanted to so <sighs> what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna gather myself for a few minutes and then i'll be back so it's only been a couple of minutes um but I did bring my planner with me, and I have to go through August right quick because we are currently in August. Um, I have to go through August, and I have to map some things out because I didn't get a chance to do that yesterday. And then I also bought my, it says 2019 on it, but um, it's still valid. What, I, what I'm going to do, well, let me show you first. You probably can't really see that because of the glare. But this is my dream and goals plan book. Um, I did make this. Um, in the future, I am going to be selling them. But I just like to try out my stuff for a year or two and revamp and rechange things that need to be changed. And right now, I see a whole lot of things in design work that I want to change because it's just not working for me. But in the meantime, between time, I'm going to still use this. Okay. I'm going to still use it. Um, but uh, I put 2019 because that's the year I actually made it. We're in tw 2021. So two years ago. But in the future when I make them, I'm not going to put the date on them because I want people to be able to use them whenever. You can buy it one year and don't use it until the following year if that's what you want to do. But um, this is my dreams and goals plan book. And it is a step-by-step -step guide to successfully complete your dreams and follow through on your goals. Somebody dog is like chasing a car. They better quit after they get run over. But anyway, so yeah, so I'm going to I have a few major projects that I'm going to be working on for the next couple years. And I need to map some things out and get it out of my head. And so that's why I created this because I have so many desires and dreams and things that I want to. This damn dog. Anyways, I have so many dreams, goals, and desires that I want to accomplish in my lifespan. And um, I thought the best way to get it out of my head, because I'm such a creative and so much just be going on in my head. Projects, creative works, just all type of stuff. Um, this is the best way for me to get it out, even if I don't um, 
active, actively begin the process of um, living these things or, you know, doing these things, it's out of my head and I am planning towards doing them. And so when I finish one goal, I move to the next goal um, or whatever. And so that's what this is for. Um, and so, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sip on my coffee my iced coffee and I am going to first go through my calendar and then I am going to go through my plan book. We have about 35 minutes on the clock until I have to go put my clothes in the dryer. So um, I'll check in in a bit. We're not really doing much today at all, but pro probably most of this vlog today, follow me, go around with me, whatever is going to be. Um, talk through like a chit chat I guess so I hope you like that um but I'm, I'm being consistent on this channel I'm being consistent but anyways there's neither here nor there let me get to work because clock is ticking <laughs> so I just checked my clothes um I thought that they were done I, I must have gotten the time off but it looks like I have 12 minutes left on the clock. Um, so then in 12 minutes, I'll go in and I'll put them in the dryer. Um, but I was able to go through my month of August and sort of map out um, my to-do list and things that are important for the rest of the month. Um, and, you know, and just get all this situated. So... Um, I have my full to-do list, full to-do list there, and then I'll just go ahead and write everything that is on my brain or anything that needs to be rolled over from the previous month. I'll just list it on my full to-do list, and then you have the main big calendar. Then what I'll do is I'll start pulling from that to-do list and adding the, um, uh, like appointment times, like appointments on, um on the main calendar or important dates, um, doctor's appointments, etc. And I'll put that there. I'm like showing it real fast because it's personal information. Um, and then after which, this is not as personal. So after which then I'll go um, day by day and I'll map out everything else in the to-do list that isn't like a doctor's appointment or an important date, and I'll just map it out day by day. So Monday through Sunday, what can I do from that list on each one of those days? And so I went through and did that. Um, and then as time goes, I'll just add what's necessary um, and what I can get to. What I always say is when you do a to-do list, don't um, overwhelm yourself because trust me, I've been there where I've overwhelmed myself and it just felt like... Um, I wasn't finishing anything. Um, well, no, I was finishing things, but it just felt like my to-do list was always ongoing. And so that's just the thing. If you're anything like me and you always have something going on on your to-do list, then that's just life. It's going to always be something to do. But if you sort of divide them and map them out in a way that you can get little by little done every day something small so if i need to go to the grocery store to pick up water i'm not gonna wait till the weekend to do it i want to say okay when i get off of work i'm gonna go pick up the water at the grocery store check you know little things like that and so um and now that i got that out the way okay yeah so now that i got that out the way and was able to like really just see it clear then I'm going to move on to the plan book. But since I only got about roughly 10 or, or minutes or less on the washer, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch a YouTube video that just popped up and I really want to watch it. I'm going to watch that for the next 10 minutes. Then I'm going to go in and put my clothes in the washer. Really? Right by my window, you guys will have a conversation. Really? Really? Where they do that at? Anyways, so after I watch a YouTube video, I'm going to go in and put my clothes in the dryer. And then... Oh my God, 
they going off on people. Is this ghetto? It's never ghetto like that over here. Oh. Lord Jesus. Help them all in the name of God. But anyway, so, yeah, so after I put my clothes and wash them, I'll just come back, and then I'll start on my plan book, probably for a half an hour or whatever, and go through that. So that way, I killed two birds with one stone um, while I was washing my clothes, being productive, and then we're going to head out, after which. Let me go ahead and watch my video. Call y'all back. Let me tell you something. I checked the wash before I put my clothes in. I don't know how I missed that. Somebody put a, a left a rag in the wash and it still came out looking dirty to put my clothes back in there and wash them again. Hell no. But I went ahead and did what I had to do. And then now my clothes are in um, the dryer. We have 50 minutes on the clock. It is now 1130. So that will get me to like 1220, I think. So now I was watching my YouTube video. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish watching that. And at the same time, do some work on my plan book. Oh, and it's getting hot out here. Jesus.
excuse me. Get the tag out of here. It is hot. I got on my shorts. You probably can't see. <laughs> but and I'm still kind of hot. I need to um I need to go to the restroom before I go because I was gonna go straight back home, but um I really need to go to the gas station and make sure I have proper gas in my car and then I need to vacuum up my car and wipe it down so it can be ready for the work week. So we're gonna do that. But first I'm gonna come back in the laundromat and go to the restroom. So I will say that this bathroom is not dirty, but I hate using public bathrooms. It's not dirty though, but sis. And I'm not So we are at the wash house, well, wash house. <laughs> We're at the gas station and they built these new free vacuum pumps so you don't have to pay for them. But I really love them. So I come here and I'm gonna vacuum out my car and um, vacuum up my car, I'm gonna wipe it down and everything. And then I'm gonna try this, um, This Bissell, I'm gonna try this on my one seat that I spilled something on. It's been a minute. I should have did it way ahead of time, but hey, we're gonna try and see what happens, okay? So let's let's get to work. So first, I'm gonna throw out all the trash in my car. Which I try not to do this. This is trash. Trash. And my Starbucks I had trash. So let's throw that away. They used to have, they used to have nozzles, and I don't see them anymore. So we're just gonna work with what we got.
the nozzles are better because it goes in and it picks up more stuff. I don't know why they took them off. Crazy. I can't even um, get in between the seats. What I'm gonna do is when I finish doing this, I'm gonna go around and see if any of the other ones have the thinner nozzle so I can get between the seats. Cause this ain't gonna work for me. started smelling something in my car that it smelled like you know how your clothes smell when they're wet for too long and it start having that mildew smell and I have not been able to pinpoint what the heck that smell is like yeah I just it's crazy so I'm gonna try to pinpoint it But at least I just got most of the stuff up. So that's that's the whole goal. So let's go around the other side. Time for my goal. Oh, so much better. Now I can get in between the feet. Okay, so this is the stain I'm talking about. It looks far worse on camera. Oh my God. But I spilled some food when I was bringing home food home from work um, the other day. And so I'm going to use this. It says to shake it well and then to hold the nozzle so that foam comes out. I need to figure out how to do this. Hold on. 
Okay, I will say it was a little hard to release it. I had to um, use my um, key. So it says release. And then you use the brush on it to scrub. That's what we're gonna do. some of this off on here on the seat. So I look like it's doing an okay job. I got some over there on the side. I'm going to have to clean that up. do a little bit might as well wipe the whole seat in my car so it's not horrible I probably okay so it's not so bad um this Bissell cleaner, the one thing that I will say, it is kind of hard to release the tab in the back. It says you got to press down until it releases and the phone comes out. I had to use my key and press it down because it felt like my finger was going to break off. So I guess it's shell proof. But um, after it's released and it's easy to come out, the foam just comes out of the brush and you scrub. So I would say that it's not bad. Um, I think that I would have to go over it. Um, one or two more times just to really feel like it's lifted out of it. Um, I didn't give it too much elbow grease because I was trying to record it at the same time, but I will try it again and do it again. Um, but I'm not going to do too much right now because it's hot. I need to get home. Um, and yeah, and I need to enjoy the rest of my evening before work tomorrow. So I'm just taking a few Lysol wipes and I'm just going to wipe down my steering wheel and like above um, my dash. Just wipe that down a little bit. Nothing to... Um, too extensive like I really need a uh, detailing on my car I need a professional to come and do this but right now this will do this will suffice just wiping out my cup holders with the Lysol wipes 
So then, I used to do this uh, every weekend or every other weekend. So that way, when the work week starts, um, my car will be fresh and clean and I'll feel good going to work. Because um, when you got a lot of clutter in your car and it's not cleaned out, it messes with your headspace sometimes. So, but. Like I said, I'm not doing too much. I'm just going to wipe a little bit in the cup holders. And then um, what I'm going to do is end up booking a, um, a car detail. Because this is, you don't want your car to get too bad. And okay, so that is it for that. This is it for this. And I'm going to take this back home. I can't leave it in the car because it's just too hot lately. I'm going to leave the seat cover up on my seat so it can air out. Um, and then I'll try to go over it again. But then I'm going to put this in my car because, mm, sis, this one been sitting up here for a minute, but it's gone. She dead. So we're going to put this auto um, game scent. I hope, and game for breeze. I hope it's not too heavy of a game scent because I don't want to be walking around or driving around smelling like fresh clothes. We're going to put that in here. Hopefully that helps with that mildew smell that I was smelling not too long ago but so yeah so everything's wiped down I just gotta pull down my seat cover I didn't do my seat because I didn't spill anything on it but I just vacuumed it so I gotta pull my seat cover down and then we can get on the road and go home If I wanted to, I can run my car through the car wash and get a car wash, but I probably do need to put some gas in my car, so let's do that. That breeze feels so good. I need to watch it because I don't need to put too much. Probably. Ooh, that thing it goes so fast like I was like I gotta watch watch it because I already have half a tank and I was just gonna put another half and I only wanted to put a certain amount and by the time I put my card back in my wallet and looked up it surpassed that it like it went by so quick guzzling dang but that's okay I know that let's see uh, I could have put five more dollars in there and it would have filled it up completely, but that's okay. So, this air feels good right now. I do not want to move, <laughs> but I need to get home. It's 1.39. We're still doing good timing. I need to take out the trash when I get home. Let me tell you something. So, this, this people on the internet are so dumb. So, 
um, I guess, you know how you get alerts on your phone if somebody ever comments on one of your videos or a comment that you made. It could be years ago, whatever. So somebody commented on one of my um, comments that I made under another video on the Dave Ramsey channel regarding, um, I think the title is something about saving money for a wedding when you're in debt, right? And so somebody had made a comment saying that I'd um, cater barbecue and get married at the court and have a small catered barbecue in the backyard. And I said, I made a comment after that. This was a year ago, like over a year ago. I made a comment saying, yes, that's that's very, um, um, that's a good way to do it, you know, uh, especially if you don't have the funds. But I said, if someone really don't have the funds like this caller and they're just really in debt, they can't hire anyone, they can't cater anything, which you should be considering, why are you even getting married? Um, but hey, maybe love conquers all. So if you want to get married and you just don't have the funds at all, not even to cater something as, as small as a thousand dollars, you know, um, to bring food in. So my comment was get married at the court. And if you have close family and friends, just pull them together like you have a gathering at the house, like Thanksgiving, Christmas, whatever, pull them together and ask if anybody wants to bring a dish, you know, and just celebrate um, your union with the family and your close friends. And you only do that with people who care about you and love, love you or whatever. So that's the ultimate cheapest way, budget friendly way to go if you just really don't have the money. And so someone, this was a year ago, I commented that, right? Someone just commented on my comment today saying that I was a dumbass and that, um, you know, I was a BITC bride because um, I would allow people to pay for my wedding and um, it's inconsiderate of people and stuff like that. And I responded to this, this person, whoever you are, right? My response to them, like, it's like, number one, you're dumb as hell yourself. Number two, reading is fundamental because my previous comment said, I do not have a problem with paying for my wedding. If I had gotten, decided to get married, I would pay for my wedding for what I want within my budget, right? I don't have a problem with that because I'm not out here dead broke or in debt. So I don't have a problem with paying for my wedding. But my comment was based on if someone just did not have the funds, it's okay to go to your family and say, hey, would you mind helping me, you know? Um, and some people, they don't mind doing that. Bringing a five, $10 dish, everybody bring something, you know, small, and just have a good time and celebrate. So, you know, he started calling me all these names and obviously you never catered and you never this and I'm like reading this fundamental like you're so dumb because dude I cater all the time for my events but at the end of the day I don't go back and forth with trolls on the internet but I have to put this person in their place because number one you don't get online and you don't call people out in their name and you don't call people BITC you know women you don't do that it is a form of disrespect um, just because you agree, uh, disagree with my opinion, that shows that you are a little boy. A little boy, you disagree with someone's opinion, so you go cry about it and call them out their name. Boo hoo. Get over yourself. But yeah, I just had to tell y'all y'all that because people on the internet are so dumb. Like you feel that some people have to have they have to think the way you think and do what you think that they should do and if they don't then they're wrong they're out of line you want to call them names it's like tit for tat crap anyways I'm, I'm ready to go home i got gas in my car i gotta eat something it's lunchtime i haven't eaten since breakfast it's 144 um so let's go home so i've made it home and um I put my clothes away and everything and then I went ahead and made me some Parmesan potatoes and then this doesn't look too appealing on camera. That's because it has the, um, what you call it? It's the, it's supposed to be a ranch sauce for the, the chicken fillets or whatever. And 
Um, so I was going ahead and just going ahead to eat this. And for dipping. So that's what I'm eating for lunch slash early dinner. And then I am going to chill out. Um, finish watching. Well, that's a commercial right now. But, um... What movie? I think this is Tyler Perry's movie on the Single Moms Club. I was watching that. It's on commercial though, but I actually think that I'm going to finish watching this Netflix series that I've been on for a while, and I think this is the final episode. So let me go ahead and get to that and chill out. And of course, it is like 3.30, so okay. Of course, it is the end of the night. It is 9 p.m. I am already wrapped up in my bonnet. <laughs> I'm about to hop in the shower, um, do my whole little night routine, and um, chillax and go to bed Um, be ready for work tomorrow. But I just wanted to close out the vlog. You guys have a wonderful evening, day, night, morning, whenever you are watching this. I hope all is well, and I will see you guys on the next vlog. Bye for now.